Last time, Unlawful Stupid. Beatrice lays crumpled on the ground, but as she sits there, she feels hands on her shoulders, and as she looks up, perhaps expecting her brother and sister, instead she finds William and Lucian. And I think we should go see Gordy. You see the portals is being kind of set up by Gordy. Um, it's beginning to form, but he's still kind of working the magic to, to make it large enough to connect right where he intends to. Um, and this character is against the wall, and you know it to be the, the burned one that you are expected to be. My god! Normally names, they're not so fitting, but alright, welcome to the party. Well, looks like you're good to go. Thank you, Gordy. So you step through, this portal closes, it's not hanging around for any amount of time. You step out into this flattened landscape, and about half a mile in front of you is this giant forest. As you approach this forest, and you see eyes beginning to like open, and there are these orange eyes opening in the dark parts of the forest, and then you hear a booming voice say, Prove yourself. And you've heard their voice say, so you're going to be tested. I want you to prove you're worthy. And these wolves, these shadowy wolves, have appeared at the edge of this, this large forested area in front of you. Behind you is a large field, and around this field are some other larger rocks as well that you can see. And Fume, you have shadow stepped up into one of these wolves. And it dissipates Correct. around you. But as it does, it simply wisps away and appears five foot in a different space. Now, if you guys will do me um, the honor of giving me one moment here. I would one. never honor you in such a way. Do, please. <laughs> please honor. You honor me. Oh. Cool map. Uh, I'm trying to enlarge so I can see it for myself. Let me pin this mofo. Okay. Um, what the people can't see at home, I figured this would be a little bit better. It's still <laughs> theater of the mind, but you see, you guys can know where you're at and don't have to ask me all the time, but I will describe still where the monsters are in relation to you um, on this battlefield. Perfect. So, um, kind of what we're looking at here is Fume, you are this... I don't know if you... I know you can't see green colors, but it's F-E-U. I figured that was appropriate, so that's you. I see that. Um, yep. This here is this kind of purple color. F-U-2. Is Miss B. This blue color mm-hmm. here is the burned one. And the red boy, you know, is, is William, of course. And then so you have in front of you and around these these rocks in this forested area, um, kind of almost like a barrier, it seems like, to entering into this forested area are these wolves and there are one two three four five of them so what we're going to do is go ahead and roll initiative um i'm going to go ahead and put this in D D beyond so give me one second to roll there and run encounter and so uh you guys just let me it may show up actually if you want to let me know what you get on your initiative rolls and actually For i sure. have uh william up first so I'll, t- I'll just take it the order it shows me here uh, yeah roll my team. character it's going to be weird because I don't have a sheet in TNT Beyond. But my <laughs> roll is a four with my negative one. So. I'm a slow roll to ten. Beatrice got a decibel <laughs> some, somehow. It was like a 14.13. <laughs> what was it? One eight. Nice. Uh, but it, it takes the decimal point if other people have dexterity modified fires. And if we both right. rolled a 14, it would take oh. the highest of the two would go first. Right. So it's like a dual roll? Really is that cool. what it's doing? So like a 14 and an 18? Is that what it is? Yeah, so it's a 14.18, right? Oh, so, okay. I don't know, if Lucian rolled a 14.17, I would go before Lucian. Right. I didn't know if or it was just few, like representing like another d It's like a built-in like... tiebreaker mechanic. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's beautiful. Um, burned one? What did you roll? Guy. I rolled a 16. 16. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, one thing I love is auto roll initiative. <laughs> Chores. <laughs> one thing we love is you. I'll, I'll, that was you don't get bonus points for sucking no. up to the DM. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and start. <laughs> go ahead and, and start four levels higher than you were when you got on the call. Uh, hell yeah. 
Uh, okay, Devin so is, uh, Devin uh, Devin's really cool and uh, pretty. You. Devin, uh, uh, <laughs> you guys go ahead and <laughs> just lay down on the grass that's in this field because that's where we're gonna stay. Hot. So first one up it's is very soft, you know. Just I'll die again. I'll go fuck. Uh, the oh, bird I didn't one. Expect this. You are uh, kind of. You have in front of you. Uh, you can't really see the numbers, um, but they're they're labeled number. So number two wolf is in front of you. I'll give them the numbers and uh, let you guys know like kind of where they're at. And you've got William behind you. How close is the second wolf to me? We're gonna say ten feet. This so the squares are, are kind of uh, there for represent, but don't take them exactly. All right, I will walk. St- I will power walk straight up to that wolf. And okay. I am going to call my wildfire spirit. So instead of uh, wild shaping, I can summon a spirit, and every creature within ten feet of it, uh, when it appears, must make a dex save or take two d six fire damage. Oh, so and what was your, what's your radius on that? Ten feet. Okay, yeah. So that will remove you. That will remove William from out of that. And honestly. I don't even know if it would hurt him. So, anyways, let me go ahead and roll. You probably like it. Hot. I would. I like fire. Yep, he rolls an eleven. Ooh, DC fourteen. All right. So as as the burned one's walking up, he just lets out this mist of ash from his mouth, and it sets on fire and shows a little woodland spirit made of. Fire and flames. Um. Did she do no me that she? Hmm. Okay, never mind. I won't do that to you. Yes. So, uh, and he takes two d six. You said correct. Yes. Yes, two d six. I will even roll that because I'm nice. So three. And another no four. So seven fire damage. Okay. Um, this wolf yells out in pain a little bit, um, but kind of shakes it off in these uh, almost darker than the wolf is itself eyes. Uh, kind of like more intently stare at you and you hear a growl coming from it. Anything else you'd like to do in your turn? Uh, not really. Just stand there menacingly. Okay, so directly in front of the wolf and Beatrice, it is your turn. Cool. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna <laughs> go over and join the burned one since it's easier to hit things uh, right next to my companions and get that sweet, sweet advantage. Yeah, so uh, I'll say you turn to your left. Are you gonna attack the number two wolf here that was just in front of the burned one? Yeah, he's still standing, right? The yep. wolf? Yep. Yes. Yep. Uh... Uh, yeah, just gonna, you're gonna do the fun double daggers business. Okay. Uh, and at, at advantage because I got no, no, it's a sneak attack. Girl has been All a right. while playing a rogue. <laughs> yeah, what'd That's... you get? What you? Uh... <laughs> That's a nat one. <laughs> Oof. Okay. That's. <laughs> Which which dagger are you attacking with first? <laughs> I went with Sanjay's love. <laughs> so this this dagger glows uh, as you swipe, and there's like a trail that follows it. But the wolf is so it's much quicker than you seem to be, uh, and simply ducks below it and sort of does like a headbutt to your stomach. Um, I need you to roll a, a, a deck saving throw for me. Yeah, sure. That is a dirty 20. Oh, you should have had that one first. Um, yeah, as he does that, you're able to just move and dodge out of the way, and, and the wolf steps back to its original place. Cool bean. I'm going to bonus action go for my Tursus tear dagger and see how that goes. <laughs> 22 to hit. Uh, definitely does. Beautiful. It's not going to hurt much. That is a one. 
because I don't get modifiers on bonus actions. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, you have to tell me that too because it's like five. <laughs> nope. That's it. That's my turn. Alright, so let's see if we got this. Uh, one damage. Great, so uh, next up is that very same Shadow Wolf that you guys have been attacking. And it is going to face our burned one there. And he's going to do a little attack here that we've made up. Okay, so he's going to reach out and try to bite you, burned one. No. That is a 19. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just say that hits. Okay, so 19 hits, and you are going to take... 5 damage. I need you to roll a DC saving throw, a strength saving throw for me, please. All right. This might be the wrong one. I think it might be actually a dexterity throw, and you guys can correct me in a moment about this. I guess it matters, right? What's so I'm trying. He's trying to attempt to grapple with a bite. I'm calling it a clinch. He's going to bite and hang on. Uh, attackers in a grapple, unless otherwise stated, uh, roll athletics. Athletics, and then defenders can defend with athletics or acrobatics, their choice. Right? Yep. That's uh, correct. Hey. Got a uh, natural one. Okay, so you are now considered uh, grappled by this thing. It's, it's got a clenched into your arm and is holding on to you. Okay. Uh, Wolf B is standing over next to Fume, off to your right, Fume, if you were to face into this. And he is going to turn and attempt the same thing to, to reach out and just kind of bite your bite at your leg. Uh, that is a nine. A nine to hit? No. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, and so he lunged out, and you just, you simply, I think you, you, you're you looking forward, but like your senses are so great, and you simply just move out of the way briskly as it bites between your legs, and then you step back into your fighting stance. Um, Wolf C is there, uh, and he's the one facing you, uh, and he will... Uh, attack you, and he has an advantage because of pack tactics on this on this other wolf. By you, do you mean me, Fume? Yes. Perfect. Yes, Fume. Uh, does a 15 hit? It does not. And then second one doesn't hit either. So same thing. You are just too on point with these these characters, and you're. Just, it's almost like you're as smoky as they are with with this new suit on. It's 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 very similar, almost even confusing for them. Uh, last wolf, who was who's kind of behind another rock will take his movement to come between the rock this giant kind of boulder in the way uh he won't get close enough to do any attacks um and he will let out a a, a howl <laughs> and fume it is your turn uh i'm going to uh produce the short sword from inside the light of your gauntlet uh, and I'm going to strike out uh, against the Shadow Wolf you have labeled as number four, the one directly in front of me. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and let me see something real quick. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, I'm just going to give him the old attack with the short sword here. Uh, it's a 25 to hit. Yeah, absolutely does hit. I'm going to go ahead and expend a key point to make that a stunning strike. Uh, so he has to make a DC 14. Uh, was it con save, I believe? One second. I'm rolling it. It's a 15 on that one. Uh, it's my, my save is 14, whatever it was. So you, you got okay. him. Um... I'm assuming that was that was just on the die. Uh, yeah, uh, but, fourteen plus one. Yeah. 
Uh, he'll take uh, nine points of slashing damage. Uh, okay, as you do this, it's almost like your hand passes through him, um, and it seems to make him static out of the way, but he's immediately standing still pretty strong where he was at. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bonus action shadow step. I'm going to step into the wolf that I just attacked, kind of like one fluid motion as I slash at him. I'm going to step through, and I'm going to reappear on the other side of the one that you have listed as Shadow Wolf 3, the one that just is trying to approach and flank us. Um, yeah, just okay. just that howl. So I'm going to step through one Shadow Wolf and just pop out on the other side, and I'm going to attack him with my extra attack with my other short sword. Or with my short sword. Okay, go for it. Uh, that is only a 10 to hit, unfortunately. Uh, it does not hit. So he he's too quick. I think he even jumps up, kind of, or jumps back out of the way as you do that. And kind of ducks down, puts his paws on the ground where his head's low. Uh, and that is it for me. Okay, next up is William. Uh, so you have in front of you is the burned one who has yep. moved up on that wolf. Uh, even to his left, uh, left of him, is you see Fume who has just shadow stepped through wolf uh, between this rock and this forested area to attack this other wolf. <laughs> but if I'm looking at this correctly, Mrs. B is surrounded by four of them? Yes. Um, only one of them is in attacking range currently, but if they, when they move, yes, the other three will be right there. At her. So, but there's space north of her, it looks like, for me to get in yes. between. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is that 30 feet from me? Yeah, you can get up there. Yes, you can get okay. there. Okay. With just normal walking? Yep. All right, cool. So I'm going to I'm gonna rush up in there, and now I'm surrounded by three or four wolves. Mm-hmm. I, I'm exactly where I want to be. Um... Up front in the action. Uh, ew, that's expensive. All right, I'm going to use an invocation called Mirage. Oh, uh, and it's expensive. It costs me 15 health to start. Um, and all enemies in a 60-foot radius must make a constitution saving throw. So I don't know if that hits that guy over there. I mean, he's it, um, in fact, it's like blocked by like the rock, right? And this is just yes. I was gonna say yes. Heat. So does it emanate it, out? Yeah, it's sixty foot radius. I mean, it it's like boiling the heat or boiling water in the air itself is what it's doing in a sixty foot radius. I th- I think if it's in a radius, I think it still gets him because um, okay. he's not in a contained room. I think it would come around that if it's in a sixty foot. And so you're gonna be able to get all five. Okay, cool. Number to beat is fifteen. And this is a dex? Uh, it's a constitution saving throw. Con. Um, Ooh, that one doesn't do wanna, it. Don't want to roll that. That one does. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like all except... So the only one that gets the... I guess what, the full effect of it? Yeah, yeah, it's... um, Exactly. Who who failed, who succeeded? The one next uh, behind you and closest to B is the one who failed. The other three in front of you and to your right uh, succeeded. Yeah, so everybody's going to take 19 fire damage. Um, And the one that failed... It's going to have a, a, a delirious... It's going to be delirious, so it has disadvantage on attack rolls for a minute. But at he's the end not. of its... What yeah. happens is you, no, you raise... You tell me how you do it. Like, what what calls on this, this I mean, fiery... I'm So what you're doing is literally cooking the water in the air around these your enemies. Like, so you're boiling you like them alive. spin your chain when you do that? Does Sneezes it just radiate really off yeah. of you as, like, steam... Uh, think of it. Yeah, no, think of you it more like uh, fire belch. when you see like Goku and them, where they just kind of plant their feet and like channel yeah, their you, core, and you're, and you're literally, yeah, literally sucking the the moisture out of the air and boiling the water in the air itself all at the same time. Um, so basically, I, with, like I cook think, the guy. Yeah, the trees. You start seeing some of this moisture come out of the trees, and even some out of the rocks more slowly, as it kind of just sits in the air. And then you see it start to to sizzle and turn into steam, 
and then these shadows yes. like yelp out and 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 I think you I throw your arms out and they all dissipate. Oh shit. Um and the voice says Test one complete. Oh shit. And you feel the the <laughs> earth begin to shake beneath your feet and you see the trees in front of you. It's like a Jurassic Park thing where you can't see what it is, but something huge is moving the trees at a rapid pace. From from the wood from from the tree line, you see several vines that shoot out. Attached to what? You're not sure. Um, and it will attempt to knock you back, uh, William. All right. And if I can build it correctly, I have to do good old fashioned rolls. You gotta tell me what I gotta do, my boy. Uh, twenty eight to hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do it. All right, hold on. I, just, I was just doing some math on my AC. Wait a second. Just do it just real quick, man. Meats. <laughs> Be, uh, beats a 12? Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and that's 24 damage. What kind of damage? Uh, what damage. has happened? Yeah. Bludgeoning damage. Oh, well, that's not great. Could, you sure it's not fire? Just check yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Could be fire damage. Twenty-four. Is that what you said? Yes. Wait, hit him. Um, vines. These vines, like oh. huge vines, that came out, came out and like swiped at you. Uh, How big are we talking as far is. as these vines are concerned? Like, give me. It was like the, the size of my arm because that's a huge vine. Is the size of like? Put your. If you were to, if you were to like pretend tail. to hug some. If you were to put your hands around and pretend you're hugging someone big, just able to get your 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 fingers to touch, like in a circle, yeah, mm. as if you were hugging a tree, mm-hmm. that big or bigger, yeah. very long as well. I'm assuming if they're striking at us from inside the forest. Yes. Mm-hmm. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Well, the guys. He says, "Are you ten feet away? Because that's my reach." Mm. <laughs> Slowly steps back. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> Mind. Uh, yeah, and I'm so I guess you take the damage. Actually, you're you're ruined. <laughs> oh, thank you. You so are you lying? So to this me? like does this knock me backwards or it just hit me real hard? No, it just it just it you just hits you. Ow. And with that, uh, we are back up into the order with Wait. the burned one. So oh. did that that you have a that might just, well no I mean but I'm just checking. After I killed all the wolves, it was kind of like, video game trigger has happened, and then my turn ends, and he just hits me, or... Uh, yes, and that, okay. that for him was, that was a reaction for him. So if you wanted to do something else, that would be a reaction for him. Uh, I mean, it would be a reaction, or I'm finishing my turn? You're finishing your turn. Okay, good, because... Or if you have a reaction I- to his reaction. <laughs> Well, no, but um, I'm level 7 now, so I can use a bonus action to give myself 30 foot of flying speed that ends at the end of the turn. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to put my hands out forward and down to the ground and just boost myself backwards up onto the top of this rock. Wait, how's yeah. all the rock? Uh, you know what, right now we're going to say it's uh, 15 feet. Yeah, I just shoot myself straight up onto the top of this rock and... Back it up a little bit. Like, oh, that's okay. And just uh, call and response. Ow! <laughs> that's hurt. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, burned one. It is your turn. So, burned one, um, you are still, you're behind this rock, uh, kind of off to the side. Right. You can see where the trees have split. So, you know in the general direction that this, this creature is in. All righty. Uh, I'm gonna motion for my elemental to follow me and tell it to attack with its flame seed at the end of my turn. It's a bonus action. Okay. And for my action, I will cast Scorching Ray. Ooh, okay, what's the range on that? Only you Ready can start that? forest fires. <laughs> Only you can start forest fires. 120 feet. Okay, yeah, too easy. Um... Three rays yeah. of fire, and I hurl him at targets for 2d6. Yeah, you gotta roll an six. attack for each one. Mm. Yes. Yep. Oh. 
It's a 13. No. A 20. Uh, does hit. And... Well, that's a... Is that a nat, or is that a... It was a nat, yeah. That was a nat, okay. And 12. Um, so your second one does hit? Yes. Uh, yeah, does. go ahead. And so I, I think you shoot you shoot two, three in. A couple of them damage the trees in like in front of it. They don't quite hit their target. Instead, they hit some other trees that are there. And I think even those begin to sort of start a small fire on these, these front trees. But then you hear, ah, as that second one hits dead on. Go ahead and roll some damage for me. All right. As a wildfire druid, if my uh, spirit is up, he gives me... An extra D8 of fire damage for my spells, or a D8 of okay. healing. So, let's see. <laughs> One. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Real helpful, buddy. Six. And three. Right. So, so you roll three damage. dice. Is that all, is that what yes. it is? It's two D, and then you get an extra eight yep. for it. Is that we said two D six and a D eight. So yeah, total of Okay, so yeah, you hear this thing kind of kind of yell out. He says, "What are you thinking? This is a forest." And um, it's over the beach. I just want to look down at all the fire coming off of me and <laughs> kind of shrug. It's kind of my. It's thing. my thing. <laughs> <laughs> well. Seeing as how we all gone fire in this moment of time, <laughs> my my previous thoughts are out the window. My whole mm-hmm. plan has changed. Just gonna stow a dagger to my side and use fire bolt myself mm. <laughs> yeah. in the same direction into the fire. We'll give you nowhere trees. to hide. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um. So we've gone scorched earth. Uh, yes. Dirty toy. We've officially gone <laughs> oh scorched earth. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that <laughs> definitely that hits. <laughs> yeah. no, we'll say it connects. I think you perceive the way th- where the second one hit uh, from the burned one, and you're able to replicate that path of uh, the attack straight into the same place. Cool beans. That's going to be eight fire damage, and then I'm just going to duck behind the rock uh, if I can. And I believe uh, Duck Behind the Rock is my new EP coming out next week. Thank you. <laughs> right, Just quack. goes you quack quack. Stop it! <laughs> uh, that, that, that will be all, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, I use my bonus action to tell my guy to attack. So uh, after B's turn, can we? Oh, I thought you. See, yeah. Okay, that wasn't him adding the no, the D. That's just okay. uh, passive. Okay, well, go ahead. He can do. We can do that now. Alrighty. So, D20 plus 6. It's a 12. Does not hit. This guy is uh, just slacking. <laughs> he was so excited about helping you in the last one, uh, but he wasn't paying attention. He's thrown off by the fire that's already on the trees. <laughs> and again, I think he does it and it causes more flames on some of these other trees and stuff. All right, and Fume, you're up. Fume's just going to kind of, like, pull his head up. Grub always with the fire. Okay. And I'm just going <laughs> to bonus action shadow step uh, up into the trees, ideally. Where uh, we're shooting the fire? Yeah, I'm going to, like, hop between flaming uh, branch to flaming ahead. branch. Um, and I, sh- I with, with that's 60 feet from the bonus action teleport, and then my movement speed's 45 feet. I should be able to probably get there. Yes, you, you. I mean, I don't know how close you want to be to where you. I want to be like up in the com- trees to where like I can look down at it. Um, can you let's, let's roll a stealth check on it as well? Okay. Sorry, I might have a trick or two up my sleeves. Oh, okay. No, okay. Um, stealth check. Uh, dirty twenty. Oh man, so I think you're able to just silently jump through these trees, and you see this creature. Uh, before you, and it's even kind of like huddled down. 
It's a uh, bipedal. It has like this naturally made, it looks like even just a giant tree put together. There's these glowing green eyes and vines kind of make up the rest of its body between like this wooded uh, tree bark armor. Um, but its legs are made of like a stone. So it's like the transition between its its uh, abdomen is from tree down into a stone material. What's uh, the head look like? Uh, it, it looks like a uh, just a wooden mask has been put on, but you can tell like the head is vines, made up of vines. Um, it doesn't have, it has like a mouth slot, but no mouth, but the eyes are glow, a glowing green. Um, it does not notice you. Um, it keeps looking from whatever direction you see these several fire attacks that are still coming in, uh, presumably from your party. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and produce two of my daggers and just throw two of them at this thing's stupid head. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I said it's got to be stupid, but... Nine and oh, that's a, that's a lot better. That's an eleven, so that probably hits right. Uh, neither one of those hit. Okay. They uh, they sail just over his head. I think as he's trying to move um, a- and try to get out of the way of these fireballs. That's butcher. All right, um, Willem, you're up. How far out is the sky for me? He didn't move, right? Um, you're on top of the rock. Uh, you think probably the tree line is about twenty feet in front of you. So somewhere within that range, and there's nobody in front of me. I thought, this, oh no, correct. Just, all right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I guess I'll do risky business, um, and I'm gonna prepare an action. Uh, if this guy comes within ten feet of me, I'm gonna attack him with my chain and hit him with a blazing and snare. Okay, so. Uh, chain question. I don't really think about this. It would make sense that because I use spells, but not spell slots, when you prepare a spell, you use up the slot that I would yeah, pay you my would, health you would cost pay your regardless. HP cost, and you could whiff. You could never meet. The That's what I was just making sure that you and I thought the same on the rules. Yeah, that I because I'd because pay that that's cost how it to hold affects it. Affects spellcasters. Yep. Spell. And yep. Yeah, my cost HP is just is HP your... instead of spells. Yep. Instead of spell Resource. Slots. Yep. Makes sense. All right. To me. Cool. Yeah. All right. Just taking the HP off. Uh, preparing my abilities. Hello, it's me, William. A little trip through the fortune-telling war, and let me tell you what I saw. It was amazing. I saw this powerful game of strategy, unique abilities, and dice. They call it Marvel Dice Throne. You choose a champion, much like myself, except I'm not an option this time. Once you choose your champion, you face off in a battle of wit and skill using dice, cards, and special abilities to conquer your foes and ascend the dice throne. I'm told to tell you you can buy Marvel Dice Throne today. And there's something called a link in the show notes, whatever that is. But you can use that link today to go buy your copy of Marvel Dice Throne. Uh, all right. And so it is to this creature's turn. What you will notice, view that no one else is going to see, is that uh, the, the creature seems to put one of its, like, bind arms into the ground, and it, like, digs a hole into the ground. And you even see, like, the these white specks kind of coming up out of the ground around it. And it seems to heal up some of those spots in the armor where it was hit by fire. Um, what he's going to do on this turn is he is going to come to... He's going to pass... So this will give you an opportunity. Attack or attack of opportunity if you want. He's going to step to the edge of the forest and just outside of it. So he's going to be probably 15 feet from you. Uh, where you can, like, just outside the forest. So now you guys see the true height of this thing as it stands tall. And How it big is about is this thing? 30 feet tall. Oh, fuck yes. 
Um, uh. And it it peers out and it catches it catches your eye. You're still you know half its size. I mean, tw- at twenty feet, you know, and it looks down at you and says, "Is this all?" And he is going to vine whip at you. Uh, hey, so you said I could take an attack of opportunity. Yeah, go ahead. Would you entertain the concept of me grappling instead? Um, I okay. Here's what I'll tell you: build this thing you cannot be grappled. But I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you that, but I'm going to tell you that, so you don't waste that turn. So okay. that's what I'm, I, it looks too big. It almost seems too big. And I would, I would not want you to waste that turn. That's fair. Well, I, what size is it? Uh, huge. Okay. Yeah, it's, so it's outside of your grapple. It's well, it's you can grapple a creature that's huge, but it's more like riding on it than it is grappling it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's different, though, because you don't get the grapple <laughs> You shadow effect, the Colossus yeah. up it, is what you do. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's what I thought. Uh, that's 100% what I thought. Yeah, I mean, that's... Granted that, I'm going to take my magical legendary sword, and I'm going to jump down on its head. I'm going to reflect the light off of my legendary sword. I'm going to find where his weak spot is on the back of his head. I'm going to stab it. (laughs) Uh, Okay, so you're trying to jump on and stab in the head. If you allow. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Um, I think you have advantage on a dex acrobatics. Oh, I goofed up. Okay. Uh, I, I just I, I whiffed my attack. Don't worry about it. <laughs> do you still want to jump onto him? I do. Yeah. Oh no, I don't because I've been I've been misplaying this guy. The shadow step is a lot stronger than I thought it was because each time you make an attack after you shadow step, you have an advantage on the first attack you make. And I goofed that. Oh, up. okay. Uh, but yes, I would like to jump on this gentleman. You said I have advantage on an acrobatics check to jump onto him? Yes. Yes. 17 and that 22. Makes it whatever. Yeah. You you are able to jump over onto him. And um, he feels it. And he it, you kind of feel him shake his shoulders. Um, but he doesn't seem to do anything else with that. And so he, uh, that's when he's whipping out his, his vine forward to attack. Uh, 22, does that hit William? Uh, yeah. All right. He is going to do a lot. It's a lot of damage. <laughs> No, he only does 15 damage that time. Oh my he's like 15, 15 um, bludgeoning damage. But what he's also going to do this time is he is going to uh, begin stomping his feet. And that begins mm-hmm. shaking this earth again. Um, and within the radius that he is... But I'm on a giant rock that seems pretty stationary, right? <laughs> um... Let me let me. Uh, one of our Patreon Patreons is on, and he's playing the rock actually. So <laughs> let's okay. go ahead and let them roll. You know, the pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Um, all of you, yes, roll a DC dexterity uh, dex saving throw for me, please. Even I keep me saying on almost top? what it what it costs. Um, no, I think because the ground is there, it's not so much the vibrations up top, it's down low. Hell yeah. So, confirm you want me to do a, a save, right? Yeah, roll with advantage. Oh, I love that. Oh, Dex is bad. I like, the sturdy- <laughs> I like the sturdiness of the rock <laughs> argument. That's kind of what I was hoping. Uh, it's pretty solid. Uh, I got a 12. <laughs> 16? Uh, well, your bonus had 17, so is it a straight-up 12, or do you, do you get no, a bonus? No, it's though? a 4 plus 13, so it's those are two separate rolls. 13 minus 1 is my... So 12. Oh, okay. You are going to... Uh, and then, Burn, what did you get? I got a 15. Yeah, so you guys are able to like hold your hold yourself steady. Ooh. But, William, you're going to slip and slide, fall off this rock oh. into the front of this creature, and you are knocked prone. Oh, okay. Whatever. Um, it is now up to the burned one. All right. Well, I'm gonna 
waddle over to William, and I'm gonna say, trust me, this'll help. And I'm gonna spit out some ash on my hands and rub it all over him and <laughs> cure some wounds How, on hold him. Hold on, let's take this real slow. Can you tell me what you do again? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here you go. Give him a sensual massage. <laughs> <laughs> and I will cast a lower. second level cure wounds. Oh, great. Love this. Spread your ash all over me, baby. Oh, spread your ash all over me, bird so one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is 3d8 because of my uh, spirit, oh. fella. Plus 3. Yeah, you just. He's vibing this spirit. <laughs> Let's see. Mm-hmm. That is a whole 20 health. Oh, I feel way more prepared to fight. Now, I, I can close see. You. <laughs> I can <laughs> fight. I mean, my clothes are burnt up. It's, it's nature. Yeah. And then I'm gonna tell. Uh, call him, let's call him Sooty. Hey, Sooty, do your thing. And, and oh, then okay. he's gonna spit some flame seeds onto the forest. Man. Onto William again? <laughs> yeah. Giving rash, and you're giving him your seed. Uh, 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 worms have plenty of seed. So flame seeds at at the big guy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Got it. What yep. I need to. Uh, it's a attack. Uh, let's see. Does a twenty four hit? It does. All right. Wonderful. Four, seven fire damage. Uh, where does it hit? Because now just, you can see this creature. What are you aiming for? Uh, it's just kind of like a spray of seeds. It's, it's just going to hit wherever it, you know. Fucking I think it hits. I think it hits the mask, and as right? they kind of bounce off, they leave these scarred burn lines going up the face. Burn lines. And it. Oh, and its new, away. its green eyes turn and look at you now. <laughs> can I do and a flavor thing? Be? I don't know. Uh, I think you already did a flavor thing by rubbing your ass oh, all yeah. over Willie. Are you sure? Right. Right. <laughs> no, no right, that I'm was gonna, savory. I'm going to take <laughs> off my mask and look at it and compare the two and then put it back on and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's Zank. a nice mask. Ta- I'll ta- have it. Takes his mask <laughs> off, revealing his hideous, burnt, scarred figure. Yo, it's just William. I, um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. What you'll see is your mask are oddly identical in, in shape. Yeah, just in, just in size is different. He's got a bigger mask. I want it. Want to trade? <laughs> size doesn't matter. <laughs> I knew a guy that stole faces once. Oh, goodness. Yeah, beat uh, you up. Yeah, so she's gonna peek over the rock, look over. Is the ground rough terrain or what? Or is it still. Uh, n- not between. No, not between. Um, the rock and the forest. Can I interrupt for just one just quick second because I thought of a really funny joke for 15 seconds yeah. ago? Yeah, <laughs> do it. Uh, <laughs> it's not how big the log is, it's how hot it burns. <laughs> oh, that's good. <sighs> I, uh, I'm disappointed if it's, in a good If it's way. burning, though, see a doctor. The longer you think about it, the funnier it is. Yeah, yeah. See a doctor. Hey, if you guys like that joke, for all of you people who are on... Uh, uh, Spotify. I'm gonna I'm gonna put how how funny was this joke? I'm gonna rate it like a one to one to ten. You could go just be like right you could just be like winner Stop. or stinker. This joke. Yeah, winner or stinker. We'll do that. I'm gonna go ahead and add that question into for some Spotify Whoa. listeners. Sorry, everybody else I haven't done that. So okay, <laughs> I think it's a winner. Uh, well, uh, I think you fucked up. Been wrong. Wait, it's your joke. I thought you said. It th- I, I thought you said. It, I. Th- I think it's a whiff. You said winner. I got. I you. think it's a winner. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> I'm on your side. Yeah, I'm on your side. I don't know. You're too. the DM. Like, what you know side what? are you supposed to be? That's on? What he wants. I, I'm, I'm gonna reach down and heal the forest creature. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> I can't heal anymore. Um, all right, uh, B. So you've checked out. It is not rough terrain. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna get my two daggers. And combine them into one. I imagine the magic scene is kind of cool, even though it's just her on her own for that second. It kind of turned into a, like a butterfly dagger. Yeah, it's all sparkly and magic. Yes, ah, she's like, I can great. handle. Yes. 
it you do you take and you put the the hilts the butts of these daggers together and they begin to <laughs> you put you put <laughs> uh, you put the bust of these things together because that's the bottom and mm. they begin to glow and and, and and twine with this light in the fire and like color swirling and the whole thing glows and shoots like a beam out and now this thing oh. is the butterfly sword that you had I had looked at and they are very distinct sides of this thing and there's like a like a blue flame emanating off one side and a red flame off the other oh well that's that's really neat I wasn't expecting that that's cool that's badass uh, fire <laughs> I'm yeah, seeing so- a weakness in our party though we have a lot of fire damage we're not gonna do good. <laughs> not gonna a do squirrel shot out and a kills you all. <laughs> Bro, I'm still dark type. You got, I got you. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so she's gonna go join the party and run up and uh, take a slash at this thing. Uh, okay. And it's slash slash hot. How's a twenty one? That does hit. I, and I think you're at its ankle, pretty much, is kind of the area you're at, this rocky uh, sort of surface of this uh, creature. Sweet. The That's... surface says, yo, Adrian. <laughs> God. Slowly learning how to click all the buttons on D&D Beyond, because sometimes it's not easy. That's six damage by the blade. 16 sneak attack, because I get 4d6 now, I believe. And for bonus action, I get to use uh, one of the daggers as a cool thing. So I'm going to go with the burning flame strike. Uh, So I get 1d6 fire damage on top of that too, Devin. Okay. Uh, That'll be 4 fire. Um... I you you slash through and what, instead of just bouncing off like a normal blade would, you see this as you slice through. It pierces into the rock and just cuts a large piece out. The creature lets out a large bellow as he collapses onto a knee um, where he was standing, mm-hmm. and and lets out and, and one fist like one vine fist comes down and hits the ground, and he's sort of uh, been knocked down to a knee. Cool. Can he also make a DC 15 check? Uh, Which con or? Dex. Oh, Dex, okay. Not gonna be great. It's part of the cool weapon you gave me, so I'm making sure it's a 17. Uh, he saves. You're fine. What would happen? Because I forget what I even did. <laughs> what, would, what would go wrong? Um, he would be burned, and he would take 1d6 damage at the end of each of his turns for two turns. Mm. Nice. But we're All good right. for now. Uh, anything else? No, nah, that's it. I'm right here. You. So you I'm, are on the on the back of this creature. It's his neck. I'm going to make a bunch of attacks, but the way that I want that to manifest is I want I want Fume to just like jump in the air and stab down with the Lightbringer gauntlet and like in the top of this thing's head and like drag it down and smack its head into the big rock. Oh. Like as because it's already on one knee off balance. I'm going to just drag it down and crack it on the rock. Uh, but it's going to be a, a total of, of four attacks coming your way. So okay. uh, here we go. 22. It's 12. Does not. 21. Hits. 13. Does not. Get two of them boys. Uh, six. And uh, five. And let's go ahead and... I don't think I got enough goose to take this boy down. So let's stunning strike this motherfucker. Uh, so I'll burn, I'll burn a key point to make at least... On well, the first deck, I don't know if I'm going to burn another key point, but we'll see if I can stun this guy. It's a con save, which I think he's going to be good at. Uh, DC 14. Yep, that is a 23. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm just going to let that go. I could burn another key point, but I, I got a feeling he's got a pretty good yeah. con score. Yeah. Um, all right, and then we... Uh, is that all you got? Is that your turn? Yeah, it's four attacks. I, don't, I, I have nothing left. Is, what do you want from me? What else William. can you do, yeah. Uh, you are prone currently, William. 
Yeah. But just uh, you've got your two buddies next to you. You've just been healed yeah. for a little bit of HP. And then I'll, I'll end yeah, my turn like, on, on the rock next to next to Will. Oh, you're gonna jump off and well, because I'm like I'm trying to it. slam his head down into the rock. So, so what, full, like four real re- Various, regardless of how successful that was, it ends with someone's me. hitting the on rock. All the rock. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll stand up. Fifteen movement speed. Speed. Um, and I will. <laughs> <laughs> See, they're gonna go really well or really badly. Um, I'll click my my boots of misty step together. Um, no, hold on, let me double check. Like uh, inside uh, of this creature. The space specify. All right, is a space that I can see. Cool. Um, I want to teleport like uh, up above him on his shoulders, and I want to like jump on his back. Essentially, teleport and above him and land on his back. Because it's a new day, you just it, it happens. Give him a massage. Yeah. First one's free. Yep. So now we're on one. We're at one. Uh, all right, boots. All right. So I'm up on his back now. Does this thing have a head? It does have a head. Okay. But you, as the DM, have already established he cannot be grappled so i appreciate that freebie um all right cool i'm just going to uh d- 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 already used bonus action ship i'm gonna hit him with the chain start okay and he might not be able to be able grappled by lucian with his bare hands but there could be an argument made for magical god chain grapple <laughs> maybe like around his arm and it's burning so he's like ah. feels like he's a feels like he's i was willing to choke his throat but yeah choke it's fine. His throat. um choke his throat have a win, uh, right? Well, that's a big whiff. Not um, anymore. So that attack no, misses. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to use uh, Molten Gauntlet and just make an attack against him. And if it hits, oh. we'll go from there. Um, big money, big money, big money. Uh, 17. Wait, hold on. Six. Oh. Hold on. 19. Sorry, I don't know how to add. Does not hit. Ah, oh, fuck me. Yeah, I think we're talking AC. Uh, okay, here. I got it. Mm, now I'm not going to use it on that. I don't think. Nah, it's still. All right, that's that's me then. I'll hang okay. on. This creature stands up, pushes himself up, and it kind of shakes the ground again. Not enough that you or any of you are knocked off uh, of your steps, uh, even if you moves in the rock. And he he kind of puts one vine back to try to. It's not like a violent swipe, but to feel what's back there. Uh, I think you're able to dodge whatever it is. I'm not even because I guess it's so slow. He's just trying to fill what that's there. Well, I, then he'll look at the three of you. Go ahead. I would say I, I, I posted in the chat the rules from the DMG about uh, grappling a, a, a giant creature, um, and he, 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 he has a chance to shake the grapple every turn. Oh, if he was grappled. Well, so that when you ride on top of a creature, it's technically a grapple. Because you're hanging on to it. Because um, you're hanging on to it, and it's trying to shake you off, I guess. So at, at the start of its turn, it's just like a grapple. It can it can use its action to try to break it, but it doesn't have to, obviously. Yeah, but it has to use its action to do that. And so like if he has multi attack or something like that, he can't do that in addition. A uh, larger creature can dislodge right, a small creature as an action, knocking it off, scraping it against the wall, grabbing and throwing yep. it. But making yeah, so it's it's just like a grapple. It can it, it can take its action to throw like Will off of it. Uh, with a contested grapple check, Will would see if he can hold on. Um, that's just But they but, can't do the other stuff unless it's like the, the idea is it, it's really hard for him to hit you while you're on his neck. So he has to like get you yeah. like he can't make an attack against you really while you're riding, but he can throw you yeah, off. Yeah, no. Totally that get that. Sense. Well I'm just letting Devin know like from a tactics thing, you can't like use that as a part of multi attack, because multi attack is usually pretty targeted. Like you can no, this do would be this, an this, and action. This. Yeah. yeah, it's an action. Um so he is gonna take uh, one of his vine hands and kind of move it into like a, a sharp object and he's going to chop off his other vine arm. That thing falls to the ground and kind of wiggles around for a moment and then forms into a miniature version of this thing about 10 feet tall uh, and, it, and it looks exactly like him. And then he's going to take in a deep breath. <sighs> take off his mask and it's like this hideous looking vine monster face. 
the glowing Gross. eye still, and it's gonna exhale. And in so much slow motion, you see wood splinters coming at you. Um, and it's oh. gonna hit. Uh, well, attempt. You guys get to dodge in a second. It's gonna hit the three of you that are in front, and that's Miss B, uh, Fume, and <laughs> the burned one. <laughs> Sorry, from the chat, I see quick sin. Cut off your arm. And see if you get oh your God, burning ones. I like this idea. <laughs> wait, wait. Well, be good. Um, you guys Daddy, need to roll a uh, one of his arms. A deck saving throw for me. That's a twenty-six. It's pretty good. Also a twenty-six. Hey. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's about to be really bummed when he finds out we both have evasion now. Yeah, yeah. thirteen. <laughs> okay. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Yeah. So you two pass. Burn one did not pass. Um, My spirit also failed. Half. No, you guys just it's it's a it hit or miss. So uh, you will take well, those two will take <laughs> nineteen damage. Which two? The burned one in his familiar. Oh. Ah. I feel like targeted. Um, and then, so that drops me. I mean, oh. we're, we're, some, we're some, we're a jukey boy and girl. And, and the creature says. We, we've trained enough. We got juke moves. He, see, he spits this out. And once he does this, he kind of surveys the field. And he sees Miss B standing there with her butterfly sword. Both ends of it glowing. Um, he sees. Uh, what does what does fume look like? Are your arms out, or are you? What's what's your sort of like stance right now? I think that when those splinters come, he just like goes into like a like a defensive dance, and he's just like using his 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 gauntlet hand to block some while he dodges the other, and he's just like like untouched. Yeah, and I like think even Miss B was like spinning this thing at a rapid pace somehow to like deflect. Uh, these splinters that came in here. But oh, he looks over at the burned shit. one who is littered with these things and kind of tilts, it puts its mask back on and it tilts its head and looks at you and then it looks down at its miniature <laughs> one and then it smashes it back into the earth. Take that. But then he takes like the smashed vines and rubs those like onto the trees to its left and right, like clumping over like the burns that seem uh, to disappear in the bark. And he says, I think you have proven yourself. Okay. And that's ruined the episode. I thought he was like gonna smash his own thing to make an okay. example. Like, I could do this to you. I'm like, oh huh. shit. <laughs> Like, I'll do this to my yeah. fucking child. What do you yeah. think I'll do to you? <laughs> I did this to my kid. Yeah. He's about to you say that guy's metal. Because you, you know my name? <laughs> we don't even know his name. You don't name. even know my real name. I'm the fucking lizard king. I have a tree. Only the wind and the trees know my name. Hey, everybody. My tree. Uh, my tree thanks is for a listening sh- to our, our one of two or three combat uh, sessions in the whole campaign. Maybe there'll be more. We're gonna try to do some of that. Uh, <laughs> what are we calling it? I forget the name already. Narrative Bounce combat. Narrative names. combat. Narrative combat. Uh, trying to get better at that before I do it again. Anyways, thank you for listening to the episode. And we'll go ahead and let our uh, other crew get into the other announcements. <laughs> Everybody, make sure what? you check out. Uh, <laughs> Hey everybody, make sure you're checking out Dice MV. Uh, use our affiliate link below because you like dice. I know you do. it. I'm looking into your heart. Tim? Tim, you like fucking dice. Come get some. You'll get a discount and shit. It'll be cool. They're yum yum. Also, get I'll get money and that's hype. So do that. Uh, and then check out our store for like t-shirts and like posters and stickers and shit and you'll go like oh this shirt's so cool and comfy oh I can't wait to wear it outside people be like dude that's a cool fucking shirt what's that about you be like oh it's this podcast I knew about it before it was cool I'm awesome um, and then they'll respect you my dream is that I'll wear my shirt out and someone will go hey man I love that podcast I can't believe you listen to it too and I'll go no, well no. actually <laughs> I'm, I'm in that podcast <laughs> 
That would be a fun anyway, time. I, the dream anyway. is to get recognized for sure. Mm. Eventually, one day. Uh, you can also support us by going to our Patreon at patreon.lawfulstupid.org. Uh, for a dollar, you can see all the stuff we got hidden behind that one little measly paywall. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> if you're feeling like real spicy, you can go to the $50 tier and join us on our calls. Because we already called it out a few times, I believe, this episode about the fun stuff our box sitters say to us. It's fun. Mm-hmm. It's hard not to laugh when I shouldn't laugh sometimes. <laughs> anyway. Thanks, Zebra. Or the $69 tier, but come to our Discord to ask about that. Please <laughs> thanks, bye. <laughs> thanks, bye. <laughs> hey, uh, so for our role for humanity, um, here's, here's what we're going to do this time. We're going to support Davis House... Uh, child advocacy center uh, and what they do um, is they actually talk to these children who um, go through terrible terrible events whether it's uh, abuse uh, any abuse of any kind um, in middle Tennessee and what they do is they help law enforcement um, and they help these children get the help that they need and make sure they're placed in safe homes or the issues are investigated and it's a really great cause so that's what we're going to be doing uh, for the month of November Um, and the first roll is going to be a six Roll, roll, Pretty good roll. start. Yep. So, what'd you roll? Uh, tell Shane what <laughs> yeah. you rolled. Use the hashtag Go. Roll for Humanity on Twitter and tell what you rolled, or else my mental health can't take much more, frankly. We're really, no one's, I'm no one's done declining it. Declining steeply, it's really getting pretty rough, so just this is a cry for help. Do it, just somebody tweet. Come on. <laughs> This is a this is this is a desperate cry. cry. Um, <laughs> um, I did not. You know what? I'm I'm terrible. I have a story, but these are so easy to pull up. It was fine. I just the, the first one I got to. Okay. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Ford announces. $11.4 billion investment in U.S. electric vehicle plants, and they call it a transformative moment. I'll read it again. Ford announces $11.4 billion investment in U.S. electric vehicle plants, calling it a transformative moment. No, have, have fun, boys. It's a car thing. <laughs> Here's what they don't tell you. Ford is investing all this money to make Decepticons. They are making Decepticons in these factories. I don't care what they tell you, what you see. They they are fucking skyscrapers, stooge, and they are making Decepticons. That's cute, Dwayne. <laughs> That's real cute. I see. Thanks. It's a transformative moment. Transformers. I mm-hmm. like. I wish we lived in a world that was that soft and gentle. But unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. every dream must end. Fair. And it's time to wake up, sheeple. Because here's the thing. <laughs> Fix it again, Tim. What does Ford stand for? Anybody Wait. know? Found on road dead. Found on road. Dead. road <laughs> found on road. Are you talking about a Fiat, Dale? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> found on road dead. Dead being the operative word. Dead. And what are they doing with electric cars? Generating all kinds of electricity. You know who else used a lot of electricity for his experiments? One Dr. Frankenstein. That's right. What'd he do? He reanimated (laughs) whom? The dead. That's correct. Your transformative moment is when you go from being a corpse to one of the the Shannon dead. And frankly, I'm appalled. You need a lot of electricity for that, aren't you, Zuckerborg? You know, recently, I- <laughs> he's a robot. He's a Tesla. robot doctor. Is that Musk? Yeah. You yeah, must, Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. You musky Tesla. bitch. Everything shut down so they could use the energy for the Transformers and the undead. Facebook is powering monsters right now. I'm just saying, mm. if there were to be amongst the super elite, amongst the very uh, wealthy members of the 1%, if one of them were to be a necromancer. 
You think it's Jeff Bezos? No. Mm. No, he, he's the only one who wants to, He wants only him to live forever. That's a fact. Do you think it's Zuckerberg? No, he's an actual cyborg. <laughs> he's not a Zuckerberg anymore. He's Zuckerborg, <laughs> and he's here with robot parts. It could only be the man, the myth, the legend, Elon Musk. Necromancer. And your last point. Were you, Paladins, were you implying that Bezos was a lich in progress? Uh, I've said too much. <laughs> Actually, uh, I need to... Run. I would love it if this episode just ended after you say I said too much. And you can make it sound like, like somebody busted a door down. Mike is down being knocked and like over. <laughs> and then the episode just ended. Because it's Halloween yes. season. That would be spooky. We, we should end every episode this for the month of October with like a like a fake out jump scare ending. Oh, dang. Well, this one's November. We'll have to record it. Well, I guess we have to do a turkey dinner now instead. I guess. Yeah. This is a free turkey dinner. That's a different five second film. You should watch that one. <laughs> all right well thanks for listening to our shenanigans and as we always say because it's true mostly we love you